when you returned to WWE after you know 11 years in TNA, was it the plan that you were going to wrestle a little bit, have the on-screen role with, as the GM, and then go into this backstage role? The plan for me was to wrestle first, um, do the GM second, and Hall of Fame third. Um, okay. For me, they went the opposite. They did the Hall of Fame first, GM second, wrestle third. Uh, that that was for me. It was a lot harder. <clears throat> I think a lot of people, you know, see a wrestling quote unquote retirement on TV or on a pay-per-view like yours with uh, WrestleMania and they go, yeah, but well, that's just a wrestling retirement. Right. Um, you know, we know how those all work. Yeah. Uh, is, is this it for you or do you have another match in you? No, I'm done. I, I, I knew I was done when, uh, when I went to Vince and told him I wanted to retire and um, just have my last match at this past WrestleMania. Um, I believe he wanted me to go another year, but I, I just didn't want to do it anymore. I I know what I'm capable of now, and it's not enough for me to uh, be comfortable going out there and performing. If I can't do it like the old Kurt Angle, I don't want to do it anymore. So the plan to go another year and then maybe this WrestleMania, WrestleMania 37, you would have your final match? Yeah, most likely with John Cena. But um, I chose not to because... I wanted John last mania, but we already had a storyline going on with Baron Corbin and myself. And Vince said, if you're going to retire, you're going to finish with Baron Corbin, you know, uh, if you don't mind, because you guys have a great storyline. We're not going to just stop. And Vince was right. So I, I said, OK, I'll, I'll wrestle Baron and. You know, that's it'll be my last match, and that's it. There, you know, there, there wasn't any way to work this in to have that match with John Cena. It would have been, you know, so poetic to do that. Um, I, I think it was thought of. I, I think it was thought of for the following year, but um, you know, it, because I wanted to retire early, and you know, Vince McMahon wanted me to continue the storyline with Baron. There was no possible way. I, what, what was ironic is when I got to WrestleMania. I, I did my throwback to my team angle and I wore the hoodie yeah. and Cena did his throwback. Yeah, we, yeah. we never talked to each other. We just walked <laughs> up to each other and said, what are you doing? And uh, so the, that was from way back from 2003 and uh, it had been kind of cool to bring that back and Russell John. Well, I think when Cena's music hit there at WrestleMania, I mean, I was there. I think that people were expecting it to be some sort of a, figure out some sort of a match between you guys. Right. Well, I, I knew that John didn't have anything planned, or at least nothing long-term. So uh, I already knew I was wrestling Baron, so I figured John was going to do something quick like he did. Yeah. Have you looked back at that match with Baron? Are you, are you happy with the way that it went? Yeah, no, Baron's a great wrestler. He's, uh, he's a great talent. Um, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like him, but uh, he's he's really good at his job. He's a great – he's the top heel in the business right now. I uh, – now, I know that people might naturally hate him, but that's a good thing. Like, everybody thinks, well, he has real heat, not not WWE or wrestling heat. It's yeah. like, well, that's the point. He wants to have real heat. So, um, you know, I got the rest of the top heel in the business. At WrestleMania. That's the way I look at it. And that's kind of the thing is, you know, the plan is that you want to go out putting someone else over, and you certainly oh, put yeah. Baron over. I, I didn't expect to win, not against anybody. So um, I figured I would lose my last match just like everybody else. 